Hey guys, D Saul back here in the Nerd Cave with my February 2021 pickups video. Got about 33 titles this month. Uh, pretty decent haul. Bunch of sales going on. Got some stuff from Amazon, from Hamilton Book, uh, from Best Buy, and from Screen Factory. So let's just jump right to it. First up is something that I pre ordered at Best Buy, and that is. Southland Tales, uh, Dwayne Johnson, Sean William Scott, and Sarah Michelle Geller, or Galar. I'm not sure how you'd say it. Uh, I haven't watched this yet. I, like I said, I pre-order this at Best Buy. It's the Arrow uh, limited edition. Bunch of special features on this one. And here's a little bit about the movie. Yeah, whenever I pre-order anything at Best Buy, I always... Take a gander over at the Blu-ray section, and uh, inevitably I pick up stuff that I didn't anticipate. So next one up from Best Buy is The Dark and the Wicked. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. It's a RLJE film. I don't know if it's a Shutter original or not. It doesn't say it on here, but I have heard some good things. Not much, not much in the uh, special features, but here's a little bit about the movie. Next one up is uh, Brandon Cronenberg's Possess uh, Possessor, uncut 4K version. I've heard some people having a hard time finding this, and, and it was at the Best Buy uh, with the slip, so I just picked it up. wasn't a bad price. Again, really not much with the uh, bonus features here. Next one up is a Joe Maniello film. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. And it's Arch Enemy. I was watching a video, I forget whose it was, that was talking about this, and it was they said it was pretty decent. Uh, another R-J-L-E film. R-L-J-E. Did, did I mix up the J and the L? Here's a little bit about the movie, and a uh, making of featurette. There you go. Apparently he's like a superhero, or he's not a superhero, or I don't know. For some decent things. And last up was kind of a, uh, I guess they're all really um, impulse buys. And this is Smiley Face Killers. I'll be honest, it's, you know, the, the slip really uh, intrigued me on this one. Um, but it does have Crispin Glover in it. And these aren't really too much money. Here's a little bit about the film. All right, now let's move on to Scream Factory. So Scream Factory uh, in February had their Love is in the Scream sale. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I have a video unboxing of those pickups. So I really won't go into much detail here. Uh, first up is the, the Rec or Record collection. First four movies. Psycho 3. Really cool that it came with the slip. Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Why own Part 1 when you have Part 2, which pretty much retells the entire Part 1. Double feature of the outing and the godsend. Another double feature, Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. Carol Kane and When a Stranger Calls Back. The sequel to When a Stranger Calls. Gregory Hines in Eve of Destruction. The Return of Count Yorga. Psycho 4, the beginning. So this pretty much completes my Psycho collection. Uh, I have the first one. It was just a, I think it was a regular release steel book. I picked up at Best Buy a couple years ago. I have the Arrow version of Psycho 2. I was tempted to get the Psycho 2 for Scream, but I didn't really want to have to double dip. And uh, so I picked up 3 and 4. 
And last one up is Charles Bronson in 10 to Midnight. A lot of people have recommended this one. Um, this is actually the one that I watched right away. It was pretty good. It's um, it's like a cop thriller slash kind of slasher movie, sort of. Um, way more gratuitous than I thought it would be. Uh, so that was surprising. Pretty decent. The ending was a little lackluster, I guess. Um, kind of saw it coming. Um, wish there was a little more to it. But the movie as a whole was pretty good. So I did enjoy it. Some pretty decent special features here, so... Like I said, I will leave a link in the description below to uh, the actual unboxing where I do more of a deep dive into those. Next one up, uh, and sorry for the banging in the background, guys. It's my neighbor. Um, our houses are so close where I live that my neighbor's doing construction and you just kind of hear it. So, uh, Next one up is the, some Amazon pickups. First up is Battlefield Earth. Uh, I remember seeing this uh, in the theater in, when it came out in 2000. And it's one of those movies that... You know, I think it's pretty good. It's terrible, um, but it's pretty enjoyable just for how terrible it is. So this is just a studio release that came out recently. And next one up, uh, I pre-ordered this on Amazon. Pretty decent price. Um, I think it dropped down to like under 20 bucks. It was like $19.99. Or something like that, or 19 bucks, and it was my bloody, my bloody Valentine um, steelbook. I had to pick it up for the steelbook collection. I wasn't going to, you know, I have this, so this is a double dip. And like I always do in these videos, I show you what it's a um, upgrade from. Not really an upgrade, uh, but here is the collector's edition slip of my bloody Valentine that I picked up last February when it came out. Kind of annoying that this has only been out for a year and they already have. The steel book of it so and as you know i have collected most well i guess all of the steel books now including this one so i had to pick it up so i wasn't going to open it but the disc was loose which is really annoying so i had to open it up just to fix that because that would have driven me crazy oh man did that just happen okay guys let's check it i think we're good i think we're good yep it's fine came out unscathed I think, yes. And the disc is still there. Good. I don't know if you guys do that. I do this. When I actually open these up, I always take the... Well, I've recently started doing that, taking the sticker off of the cellophane and putting it inside. Let's not fall again. Okay, good. And now we will jump into some more Amazon. These are from the buy two, get one free sale which I will leave a link in the description to that video as well. So I wouldn't really go too much into these. First up is a triple feature of House of Wax, the return to House on Haunted Hill and Ghost Ship. Now, I know Ghost Ship had a Scream Factory release. Um, this isn't the best movie, so I didn't really need to drop money on that release. This whole thing was like 12 bucks or 12.99 for the three movies. Return to House of Haunted Hill, I've never seen before. I know that's a sequel to the remake of House on Haunted Hill. And um, I really picked this up for House of Wax. I actually really enjoy that movie. And um, Chad Michael Murray, um, Paris Hilton. <laughs> um, her death scene is awesome. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this movie. I don't know if it had a single release or if it does, if it's out of print. So for you know, twelve ninety nine, three movies couldn't go wrong. So, next one up, another double feature. Yep, triple feature, I should say. And it's the Lost Boys collection. And of course, this is, I have so many copies of the Lost Boys. Lost Boys is my favorite movie. It's, I own it on several different formats. I will leave a link in the description below. Yes, another link to my Lost Boys collection video that I did some time ago. Uh, but I never owned the horrible sequels, and <laughs> they could have done so much better. I've always thought that the Lost Boys should get, and listen, I'm going to try not to go down the nerd rant rabbit hole of the Lost Boys, but I think this deserved really a prequel. Uh, these sequels were pretty terrible, but at least the Frog Brothers were in it. 
you did have Corey Haim in, I think, the end of the second one. I think he had passed away by the time the third one was out, I think. It's been that long since I've seen these. Um, but I had to get it. I had to get it for the collection. I do like, you know, I do love The Lost Boys. Like I said, my favorite movie, the first DVD I've ever owned was The Lost Boys. So I'm not going to show my entire collection. You know, I usually show what this is an upgrade of. But I will show you the last Lost Boys I picked up that this is an upgrade from. Technically, the last Lost Boys I picked up was the Laserdisc, but um, I guess you can call this an upgrade from the last Blu-ray copy I picked up, just a single edition. And if you look in here, it's the same exact disc with the uh, the Frog Brothers on it. Okay, where am I? Hmm. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, next up. I got confused because this is Scream Factory, and I was like, I did my Scream Factory already, but no, this is part of the buy two, get one free sale. And it's Nightbreed Collector's uh, Edition, the Director's Cut. This is one that I've been wanting for a while. I've been holding off of. I'm convinced that this is going to get like a steelbook or a 4K release. But, you know, this is, I guess, a free pickup. And it was a pretty decent price. It was like 12, 13 bucks. So this is technically an upgrade to my VH VHS copy of, um, where is it? Let me just grab it. I should have had this ready. There it is. My VHS copy of Nightbreed, uh, signed by Craig Sheffer, I think you say his last name, um, as well as Clive Barker um, signed this as well. So it is a definite upgrade from that. Next one up, another Screen Factory release that I've been wanting for a while. Pretty decent price on Amazon. And it's the Lawnmower Man. It's the Lawnmower Man. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. And yeah, I've always enjoyed this movie. Uh, I flipped it over to the original artwork, uh, which I've done with several of these. Here's a little bit. And again, I'm not going to, like I said, do a big deep dive on that. I, I think I... Well, just in case I didn't during my last video, I will do it here. Just here's the special features. Okay, next one up is a Kino... Studios release. Uh, this is from also from the buy to get one free sale and it's Killdozer. Pretty decent price on Amazon. I guess, you know, at the end of the day, I guess this f was a freebie sort of. Just a bunch, a little bit about the movie, a bunch of, a bunch of special features. I think it's just one of those movies where it's just, it's one of those killer cars or something that comes to life. I think, I don't really, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm assuming that's what it was. Kind of bummed that it didn't come in a slip, um, but that's okay, I guess. I guess it's okay. It's fine. And last one up. Um, oh, I guess I dropped one. What's wrong with me today? Duel. This is one that I've wanted for a while. Steven Spielberg's first film, uh, actually a TV movie. I know there's a scene in here where you can see him in the reflection where this guy's like in a phone booth and you literally see him, Steven Spielberg, directing in the reflection. I think you might even see the camera. And last one up um, is a film series that has its ups and downs, uh, but for 13 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. And it was it's the eight film collection of Saw. And, you know, I opened this up the other day and there's so many discs. I'm like, there's way more than eight discs in here but i didn't realize it's blu-ray and dvd i don't really need the dvds but nice chunky box set of all the movies for 13 bucks so can't go wrong with that and next up is the oh wait i'm missing yep two more from the amazon sale sorry guys i'm all over the place the faculty um i did not own this and i've heard really good things i in fact it's, I don't know if I've seen this whole movie or not. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I've always confused this with Disturbing Behavior, which I watched during my 31 movies of Halloween recently. So 
no, recently back in October. So, and last up from the Amazon sale is the Prophecy Collection five film set. Just cracked this open the other day. It's cool. That it does come with a digital copy for all the five films. And the weird thing with this one, so it comes in two discs. Five movies, two discs, right? You think they would maybe split it up three and two, but no, it's it's really odd. The first prophecy, you would think maybe the prophecy or the prophecy one and two would be in one disc. The first one's here, then the third, the fourth and fifth, and then part two has its own disc. And I don't see, it just says feature film. There's no special features. I don't understand why they've had to compress four movies on one disc and then a prophecy two all by itself. No idea. Let me know if you understand that or why they did that. And yeah, and then now we're jumping into my Hamilton book pickups. First up is a digibook of Rebel Without a Cause. I've never seen this. Um, as you know, Hamilton books has, or Hamilton, Hamilton book has the best prices. So definitely check it out if you haven't, but this went for a decent price and I love digibooks. So this is a really cool one. Next one up is a triple feature of oceans 11, 12 and 13. And this is a upgrade from my, so I never owned 12 or 13, but this is an upgrade to Ocean's 11. I have the snap case DVD of it. So it's definitely an upgrade. Oh, this has a lot of good, a lot of special features on this. I never noticed. Next one up is a four film collection. And this was kind of annoying. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Mortal Kombat Legacy, which I don't remember. It was that like, I think, was that like the web series? And then Spawn. So I never, I don't actually own Mortal Kombat or Annihilation. I don't hate Annihilation. It's terrible, but it's kind of a fun watch. I've never seen Legacy. And I, this is an upgrade to my VHS of Spawn. The annoying part of this is that I picked this up, and this is a ridiculously like good price for four movies on Blu-ray, and so I'm not I don't feel too terrible about it because it's almost enough to justify these two. But as soon as I bought this, and this always happens, um, it's the risk of collecting, is that I think I noticed on Best Buy a couple of days later that they are coming out with a really awesome looking steel book for Mortal Kombat One and Two on Blu-ray, which I think says it's not available right now for pre-order so i don't know if the pre-orders are sold out but i think it's coming out like sometime in march so i'm going to keep an eye out for that so i might end up having to double dip like right away after picking this up in fact i haven't even opened this but i'm not going to return it to hamilton book that's crazy so but again um you might end up seeing that steel book in the future on another video unfortunately Next up is The Town That Dreaded Sundown, a uh, sequel slash remake, I guess, to the original. So I had to pick that up. I have the Scream Factory version of the original. Last two, uh, and they're steel books. First one up is Super Bad. I think this cost like the most out of all the Hamilton book pickups, and this was like nine ninety nine. So, really nice matte finish. And this is an upgrade to my two disc unrated extended edition DVD. So, I think. You know, I'm really running out of room, guys. So I think I'm going to start looking to see what upgrades I have. <clears throat> and either start selling or giving away some of my DVD versions of things I've upgraded. And I know it's crazy, but I might start doing it. Um, unless it's 
like some sort of special edition or if it's got special features that the others don't. Now this right off the bat looks identical. This is the J card for the steelbook and here's a DVD. It's literally, this is the first time I'm actually comparing it like this. So it's got the deleted scene, it's got the gag reel. It's literally copied. And more. So, and they both have the um, unrated edition. So yeah, so I'm probably going to get rid of this then. There's really no reason for me to have this DVD. Again, I will keep DVDs if there's some sort of special features on there that the Blu-ray release doesn't have. Or if it's some sort of like collector's edition or a lot of ors, I know. Or if it's Snapcase, because I love my Snapcases. God, I'm a nerd. Anyway, last one up is... And this, I didn't really need to get this. <laughs> um, but it's Carrie. Now, I remember these were out on uh, Best Buy a couple years ago. These are the Steelbooks, limited edition uh, Steelbook, where it had, they all came. I, I have one from, I have a, um, what is the name of that movie? I'm blanking out here. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I have this version of the Steelbook somewhere there. Um, right. Where is it? Follow my finger. There it is. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I, I saw this, and again, decent price, picked it up, and it is, um, I won't call it an upgrade, I'll call it a double dip, unfortunately, of this, and I recently talked about this in my Screen Factory pickups video, which have, uh, yes, I've uploaded already, and so this was a double dip for Misery, because I already had the slip version, collector's edition of Misery, but I did not have carry. Carrie was out of print by the time I got around to trying to pick it up. And I saw this at Best Buy, like for $7.99. It was like a ridiculous price. So it was like a no-brainer. And that one was like $9.99 or something like that too, I think. So it's a steelbook and it's a double dip. So I really have to question my life choices, I guess. But, <laughs> but that's it, guys. This is... Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Here are my... February 2021 movie pickups. Let me know in the comments below what you pick up in February. Uh, do you have any of these titles? Uh, did you uh, partake in the sales, Scream Factory or the Amazon? Feel free to like, subscribe, and share. All that cool stuff. And until next time, see you in the Nerd Cave.